Hey YouTube, welcome back to Tech Yes, it is Brand Easy coming back to you guys today with a quick video on how to spot a dead water cooler. So this is a Sith Absolus 290. Now it's an Ace Tech sort of base model water cooler. It is a small block water cooler and I've only been using this for 14 months. So I'll show you guys how to, basically, it, you know, my computer was running at 4.2 gigs and all of a sudden it just cut off. So the uh, I didn't even know I was playing a game and basically the thermal uh, protection thing from the Intel CPU kicked in and it just cut off and then I default, I put it back to default clocks and when I booted up my machine this is what happened I'll show you so you can see here I'll show you the temps before we get into Windows 27 degrees ambient in here so it's not too hot I mean it's not like I'm sweating my ass off but I'll show you guys here yeah like it won't even boot so that's you see there it won't even boot It'll just shut off. So that's a dead cooler right there. Anyway, that's pretty dangerous. I shouldn't be doing this anymore. But that's, yeah, how to spot a dead water cooler. So you just fill the radiator. And the radiator should be pretty damn hot as well, which is exactly what's happening. So I'm going to go change this cooler now to the default Intel heatsink, just for now anyway, until I fix this problem. Okay, so I've put the uh, stock Intel heatsink fan back on. And as you can see, it's all running fine. You have to be very careful, like, I mean, see how my chip cut out on, you guys saw that on video. You know, every time that happens, you can risk bricking your chip. So, be very careful. I'm very lucky that my chip is still alive, like, you know, there's, so you can see it 27 degrees ambient again. And, you know, real temps, this is with the stock heat sink fan. So, it's idling at, you know, 35, 38, 37. It's fine, like, basically, the, you know, the Intel stock heatsink fan is better than this broken piece of crap here so anyway guys if you have any questions about this video please let me know in the comments comment in the comment section below but yeah uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and be careful with these water coolers this is only 14 months and it's dead so i mean 14 months is a joke so i was really you know not to mention you risk damaging your components so that's the worst part you know 30 this is a 30 dollar cooler but I thought from Sith it would have been a good, you know, product, but obviously not. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm a bit sad, you know, 14 months, damn. So I'm, I think I might just stick to uh, either make a custom water cooling loop, which I can't in Japan because no one sells the parts, or just stick to a normal heatsink fan. Uh, not this one, but like, you know, something like maybe an Animax uh, T40 or something. Yeah, I'm a bit sad, so... And still a little bit sick. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. And peace out for now. Bye.